battle has just begun! Hey, hey, this is Robotnik is Sexy. Um, I'm taking a slightly different approach from uh, my usual thing, my usual uh, method of recording uh, Wi-Fi battles, where I'm going to record, I'm going to narrate while I... Uh, while, while I record it live, which uh, the first time I did that with the Battle Spot number one video, um, it was a huge success. Um, this battle is, is, isn't live, like this is going to be a replay, but um, I felt that this would be the best way to go about it because I want to thank uh, Dallas Boy 1991, 1994? Dallas Boy. Anyway, I battled him we had a really good battle, um, but then I was defeated soundly by Mega Pinsir. Like, it was 30 turns in, and we both had four Pokemon left, and then he just brought out Mega Pinsir and flattened me, because Mega Pinsir is fucking ridiculous, and I hate him with all of my being. Like, you think Breloom is bad, just... This is like five Breloom's in one, Mega Pinsir. Mega Pinsir is just fucking ridiculous. And you can't even stop him with Stealth Rocks, because when you bring in Pinsir, he's only times one week to Stealth Rock, and then you transform, and then it's like the game's over already. But anyway, I don't want to get a, in on a rant about Pinsir uh, being bullshit, uh, even though he is. Um, the point being... Um, Dallas beat me really soundly, but then he uh, he and I like talked about how to improve my team, and he actually traded me the Zapdos, uh, this Zapdos that I'm gonna use in this uh, Wi-Fi battle replay. So I want to personally thank him for that. He really didn't need to do that. I was kind of being an ass, and then he just gave me a free Pokemon. So you know. Um, <laughs> Whatever you, f however you feel about Dallas Boy, uh, just know that he did this uh, act of kindness. So you know, good shit. Uh, so I'll leave his link in the description. And without further ado, um, let's get this battle rolling. Um, this is a real, this is a really good battle. I had this one just today, and um, it's it's going to be, it's it's going to be great. This is going to be great. So, and since I'm, I'm recording live, I can actually do a team preview, which I never really do ever. Um, this will make the, 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 <laughs> the video longer, obviously, but I, I should just shut the fuck up and talk. Which, holy shit, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, <laughs> his team is is uh, really um, offensive, very very offensive, but it shares a lot of weaknesses. Like he's got uh, three weaknesses to ground and uh, three weaknesses to fire. From a team building perspective, I, I, that's a big no-no. Like for me, I don't want that many weaknesses on a team, but f with really reckless offensive OU X and Y teams where their power level is just beyond comprehension, you can kind of pull it off, but juggling so many weaknesses is going to is going to um, really hurt him in this battle, in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, without, that should be the team preview, and let's get this uh, let's get this shit on the road. Um, oh, by the way, this guy had 482 wins and 999 hours played. So, this is the golden ticket of passerbys. Like, if you see that kind of battling resume, you know that this this kid is good. So I'm going to lead with Noivern. This is my brand new team. Uh, I constructed it with Dallas Boy and he gave me the Zapdos and all that. I'm going to frisk the Choice Scarf. I know he's probably going to use either a Rock Attack or Outrage. Probably Outrage. Um, the switch into Azumarill to block the um, Dragon Attack is fairly obvious. You could have gone Earthquake. That would have been really ballsy. Um, but he goes for the safe rock slide, does practically nothing, then he misses that 90 accuracy rock slide, and then I just take him down with the play rock. This Azumarill is Lumberry. Azumarill is so powerful that you can bluff the choice ban, and that's kind of what I want to do, but um, I should probably try Belly Drum uh, Azumarill, because I think that would actually fit on this team really well. But anyway, um, 
you know how I like to play? I like to play anti-meta, and uh, if there's any way it can block Breloom, we're putting it on the team. Mega Venusaur is no exception. He's going to block that uh, Spore, and now the switch into a not-grass Pokemon is pretty obvious, and I can just get a free Giga Drain and a free uh, chance to Giga, or not Giga Evolve, to Mega Evolve, and, uh, yeah, attack. So I'm going to go Giga Drain. It does nothing, and... Uh, the attack does reveal his item, though he has a leftovers, so that means he's not a Mega Tyranitar. Which, uh, from the team preview, like, his team is really odd. Like, they're all top tier threats, but I don't think all of them work together well, um, because they just present too many weaknesses, in my opinion. Like, he's just weak to everything. Um, Tyranitar is easy set up with Mamoswine, so I can, uh, switch in Mamoswine for free as he goes for Stealth Rock. Nice play. Um, I have the option of setting up my own Stealth Rocks or going Earthquake. I decide to go for Earthquake, and he stays in, predicting me to use Stealth Rock, I believe. Like, he he could have used Superpower or something and just cleaned out my Mammoth Swine if I had gotten uh, Stealth Rock. So, already a really excellent play from our random passerby guy. And this is a brand new Mammoth Swine. Uh, mine is usually named Miss Piggy, but I uh, trained this guy myself and uh, you're gonna see exactly what he does uh, so uh, I've, I've taken down two of his Pokemon um, very quickly and he just is gonna have to deal with it brings out Greninja, huge threat um, I have Assault Vest Conkleder who can hopefully deal with the Greninja and this is when he does another very very impressive play. He's going to predict the knockoff and go into Breloom, who has already been affected by the uh, Toxic Orb. Uh, so the knockoff is worthless. And the I guess the, the type pressure from Aegislash is so strong that I really am forced to go knockoff. Uh, when If I had gone Drain Punch, I would have just gotten all my health back and probably killed the Breloom. We're going to see that this Breloom is extremely physically defensive. As I go for the Mach Punch, I've got Guts Boost, I've got Max Attack Adamant. Does nothing. Like, it, it does, like, about half, but then he just kills me with Drain Punch, so... Fuck me, that... <laughs> that uh, Breloom, one of my most hated Pokémon, creeping up to uh, give me trouble. But, Noivern, Specs Noivern with Frisk fits so well on this team, you wouldn't believe. Uh, another thing um, about Noivern that I had for even forgotten myself until I um, used him a little bit in a different battle, is he is one point faster than Greninja. And a lot of people forget that. So they'll stay in, and if you frisk the Greninja and it doesn't have a Focus Sash, you can just blast its ass with Draco Meteor and then Greninja is gone. Or, you can be clever and use U-Turn, which is super effective on the Greninja, or, you know, yada yada yada. So, Venusaur is good against defensive um, Breloom, so that's that's great. I'm just going to go Leech Seed again. Uh, there's no reason he would stay in. If he stayed in, then, like, nothing would happen. Uh, so I'm going to get some nice damage on Aegislash. I'm really afraid of weakness policy Aegislash, actually, because a lot of passerbys use weakness policy Aegislash. Uh, and it has swept me before. Uh, it's it's definitely a good option. Like, Leftovers is good, but yeah. Uh, he, I think he does actually show me the Leftovers here as he goes for Shadow Ball. This is another another um, another good play because, like, Aegislash is, suspect, is up for sp suspect in OU. He's suspect for banning right now, but I really do not believe he should be banned. Um, and yet I still say only the good people use uh, Mixed Ages Slash, because all Physical Ages Slash is, is really kind of garbage. Like, you can block him very easily. Um, but, yeah. And Zapatos eats that Shadow Ball really, really well, and the Leech Seed is perfect. That was the perfect opportunity to go for Defog, because I realize now that I'm going to need Specs Noivern to uh, threaten his team, and Noivern is going to have to switch in a lot in order to do it, so that defog is really, really important. Um, and I'm going to make a, a, a thoughtful play here. I'm going to sack Zapdos, force him to go for Ice Beam, and that will turn him into an Ice type because of Protean, and then I know that everybody else left on his team is weak to fire, 
So those multiple weaknesses racking up is he's going to pay for it right now. And he is such a good player, he actually knows that Neuvern is one point faster than Greninja, um, doesn't stay into attack, and I guess sacks his uh, Mawile. I don't think that was a good play though. He should have sacked Greninja or someone else because Mega Mawile would have been kind of a problem to deal with. Um, hey, like Zapdos was my biggest defensive pivot switch to um, Mega Mawile because it it resists Iron Head. But I don't know. He just sacks Mawile. Maybe he, I don't know. Whatever. It happens. So, I'm just going to switch into Venusaur again against Greninja, get some nice life orb damage, and he's going to show me extra sensory, so he's got an extremely bizarre team. And extra sensory is a, kind of a nice little tool to take down Mega Venusaur, because a Mega Venusaur is, is, is infamous for being invincible, like that Pokemon just does not go down ordinarily, but life orb, protein, extra sensory, that will definitely do the job. But I'm presented with the same scenario as before. I can just switch in Noivern and threaten everything with Specs Flamethrower. And yeah, um, I love, love Specs Noivern. Um, like, I understand he's underused, but I also feel like he works well in standard at the same time. I'm just gonna go Flamethrower, he's gonna go Shadow Ball here, and Noivern eats it up thanks to my max HP and special defense IV. Uh, this Noivern I did breed myself, and it doesn't have a top defense IV, but it does have a top special defensive IV, and it is a timid nature. A lot of Noivern, I think, run like naive or hasty, but preserving my special defense really saves me here, because it allows me to take the Shadow Ball and get some nice damage with Flamethrower. So uh, now I'm going to go into Mr. Freeze, predicting him to uh, Shadow Sneak, actually, go Skin Shield. Had he predicted Mammoth Swine and gone Sacred Sword, I would have been in a lot of trouble because uh, Aegis Slash is a full counter to Azumarill because most Azumarills, um, unless they have Belly Drum, uh, draw just four attacks. So, yeah. Um, interesting match. Uh, we can. Uh, question of the day How do you feel about Aegis Slash being suspect? I think it's bullshit because there are plenty of ways to kill Aegis Slash, uh, namely Earthquake and Foul Play. Foul Play can take him out from full in defensive form, and you can't even do anything with King's Shield, so uh, I pretty much have checkmate here as Mamoswine outspeeds uh, Breloom, and I can go for that Freeze Dry and hit him on the special defensive side. That's right, it's a Freeze Dry Mamoswine, which I bred myself, and it actually took for fucking ever. That's why his name is Mr. Freeze, so stupid nicknames go. Uh, Mamoswine is 10 points faster. Uh, 10 base points faster than Breloom as far as speed is concerned, so I... And because he has the, the Toxic Orb, I'm very sure that he does not have Mach Punch. And yeah, I can just take it out from here. And uh, good game, extremely good game against my random opponent, who I hope watches this someday. Uh, Mr. Free is going to take it for me, uh, Helsing. Extremely good game, Helsing. Thank you so much for playing me. It really... Uh, I've been having a really devastating <laughs> OU losing streak. But this new team here, I think it sticks. I think this is good. Um, defensive Defog Zapdos is something I just need. It's basically a better... Um, a better version of um, Empoleon, which I was using. And then, like, the team just kept losing, and it's, it's uh, and it's, uh, what can I say? I did want to keep Mega Venusaur, though, since he is such a douche, and I enjoy using him, and, uh, yeah. Mega Venusaur is that bulky grass Pokemon that, uh, Neuvern can you turn into to block the Spore from turn one Breloom. Believe it or not, I have thought about this, because I fucking hate Breloom that much, but, uh, Tell me um, in the comments what you think about Aegis Slash being suspect, and also tell me what you think about this new team. I think this team is MLG as fuck, and I think I'm going to continue using it, because it it's just looks really good. Lots of slow, bulky Pokemon, which is pretty much the name of the game of OU right now. So, anyway, that's the video. A little long this time, and um, if you liked it, you know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you later, YouTube.